Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10. Secrets under Machu Picchu The true complexity of Machu Picchu has remained hidden from archaeologists. The ruins of the ancient citadel and what you see in photographs are only a small piece of the puzzle. These ruins are located high in the mountains, and they are sitting on a peak that's unobstructed by pesky foliage. However, there is a lot more to the landscape here, but most of it is covered by thick forests. Luckily though, researchers recently discovered forgotten structures among these sprawling ruins by using drones and lasers. About a dozen small structures were found within five miles of the main remnants of Machu Picchu, the Inca city constructed in the 15th century. They were found on the outskirts of Chachabamba, the old ceremonial site near the city. Scientists used LIDAR technology, which stands for light detection and ranging, to bounce lasers off the surface and see the contours beneath the jungle. This revealed more structures in Chachabamba, reinforcing what archaeologists already knew. That's to say that Machu Picchu was once an extremely important place. You knew that already. You could only reach the city in the sky if you were very important. You had to have special permission to journey to the peak of the mountain and gaze at the surrounding landscape in Machu Picchu. However, before you started your journey, you had to stop in Chachabamba. This was where you had a spiritual bath to cleanse your soul. The ritual baths were fueled by water flowing from the Urubamba River. Archaeologists have always had a difficult time studying the ceremonial center because it's mostly overgrown with much of the site covered in trees. But thanks to laser technology, archaeologists are finally starting to see the full scope of the ancient site. Number 9. Deciphering Ancient Languages there are countless languages that nobody has spoken in thousands of years, but every one of these lost languages might be on the cusp of being deciphered. A team of researchers from MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory are using an AI program that can automatically decipher any unknown language. This new technology is able to do this without knowledge of the civilization that created the language, without doing anything at all. The AI can automatically translate just about anything. Researchers say their goal is to uncover lost languages that historians have found written records of, but that nobody has been able to speak. This new technology is incredible for archaeologists and will lead to some amazing discoveries. Researchers used a decipherment algorithm, which understands the predictable patterns of human language. The algorithm then figured out how to categorize words from any language and link them to related languages. It's not exactly like Google Translate, like from Spanish to English, but it's not that far off either. Here's an example of how the technology is already working. The algorithm was able to correctly identify the general language family of Iberian. This was the language spoken by the people of Western Europe beginning around the 7th century BC. The AI program isolated the language and learned the other sublanguages in its family tree. Now, the scientists are just hoping that they can use the AI to master every language that's ever been written. Number 8. Lost Maya Pyramids Ancient cities and pyramids from the days of the Maya Empire have been unearthed in Guatemala thanks to lasers. Researchers rained down laser pulses across 770 square miles of extraordinarily dense Guatemalan forest. This immense survey revealed an unbelievable number of Maya structures. Researchers didn't just find a couple of pyramids and temples, some forgotten city streets or a crumbling palace, what they found was over 60,000 structures making up an entire landscape. The lasers revealed what the ancient Maya world looked like before it was swallowed by the jungle 1,000 years ago. Thomas Garrison from Ithaca College called the discovery a game-changer. He says it completely alters how people in the future will study Maya archaeology. The new technology provided an unprecedented view of the structures and how the civilization worked. They identified vast agricultural infrastructure, along with dense urban areas. The data shows that this part of Guatemala was about four times more populated than anyone had thought. Garrison estimates that there were at least 10 million people living here, compared to the paltry population of 2.5 million people researchers originally thought there were. As of early 2023, 
This is the largest laser survey ever completed. It allowed scientists to accomplish decades of research in a single afternoon. Garrison was part of a team that spent eight years mapping an area of less than one square mile at a site called El Sots. But now, a plane with some lasers can map 67 square miles in just an hour. This new technology really is the future of archaeology. Number 7. Scotland's Subterranean Mysteries during the Iron Age, ancient people in Scotland and in other parts of Europe dug deep underground tunnels called souterrains. Over 500 of these subterranean passages have been identified in the Scottish Highlands. But what stumped archaeologists for decades is that nobody knows what their function was. Some experts believe the tunnels were used as storage cellars for keeping perishable food items like meats and cheeses. Archaeologist Matt Ritchie with Forestry and Land Scotland says they could have been used for storing grain or for keeping valuables safe. He believes there is even a possibility that they stored slaves and hostages in the tunnels. It wasn't all that unusual for people in the Iron Age to take hostages from rival villages and trade them for goods. But the hard truth is that we just don't know what the Sioux terrains were used for. There is also a theory that they were made specifically for rituals held underground. They could have been like shrines or chapels for some primitive religion. In 2022, researchers began to investigate the subterranean tunnels using lasers. They focused on the Crackney Sioux terrain, which is about 42 feet long. A small entrance leads to a sloping corridor with walls made from dry slabs and a ceiling of overlapping stones. Researchers then used an advanced precision imaging laser scanner to create a three-dimensional image of the tunnel's interior. They were hoping the 3D graphics would help them to better understand what the tunnel was used for. But in all honesty, it hasn't really helped much. They were able to perfectly map the ancient tunnel, but they are still nowhere close to figuring out what the ancient people used it for. Any guesses? Let me know your thoughts in the comments! Number 6. The Manners of the Snake Dynasty Scientists have been using laser technology in recent years to uncover the secrets of lost civilizations, particularly secrets of the Maya. In 2022, archaeologists used LiDAR technology to reveal shocking new details about the capital of Kalakmul, the ancient seat of the fabled Mayan Snake Dynasty. The Snake Dynasty ruled a large part of the Maya Empire in Mexico between 635 and 850 AD, give or take a few years. Their capital was Calakmul, located deep in the forest of the Yucatan Peninsula. Researchers from the University of Calgary, with help from local archaeologists, scanned a massive area of uninhabited forest with lasers to see what they could find underneath the canopy. What they discovered was shocking. They found proof of city life sprawling into the distance. We've always known the capital was there, but now we have evidence of huge manors. These were large residential compounds that the researchers have compared to modern apartments. However, they weren't ordinary rentals. Archaeologists say they were the seats of massive households. Imagine your entire extended family living inside one ancient apartment complex. Each compound had its own temples, marketplaces, and shrines, making Calakmul one of the biggest cities in the Americas back in 700 AD. The discovery of these structures wouldn't have been possible without using lasers to search beneath centuries of overgrown jungle, and who knows what else they might find in the years to come. Number 5. Robots and the Sewers Beneath the Colosseum Archaeologists have been uncovering all kinds of treasures from the sewer networks beneath the Colosseum in Rome. Everything from snacks to animal bones have been found clogged up in the old sewage pipes. Researchers have always focused on the upper level of the Colosseum where the gladiators fought and exotic animals thrilled the crowds. But recently, they examined about 230 feet of sewer pipes and made even more unusual discoveries. They did this with the help of robots, sending remotely operated machines down into places where no human would dare to go. Think of the robots like the same ones used by bomb squads. Instead of a human wriggling through a greasy Roman sewage pipe, they just send the robot in. So far, the robots have helped find the bones of bears, cats, and dogs, and they've even uncovered snacks consumed by eager spectators. The robot uncovered seeds from figs, blackberries, grapes, and melons. There were some unidentified nuts found as well. The consensus here is that Romans really liked berries and nuts while they watched people kill each other with swords. 
However, there was all kinds of other stuff that got flushed down the sewers as well. Researchers came across coins, gaming dice made from bone, and even scraps of clothing. The truth is that the old Roman sewers weren't all that different from the modern sewers we have today. Number 4. Humanoid Dive Bot The future of archaeology isn't just lasers, it's also robotics. And scientists from Stanford University in the US have recently achieved something truly remarkable. They successfully sent an underwater robot something they described as a robo-mermaid, to a sunken shipwreck to retrieve lost artifacts. It was a huge victory for robotics and archaeology and could be the beginning of many more expeditions. The shipwreck is that of La Lune, which sank off the coast of Toulon in 1664. It was the flagship of Louis XIV of France, and its destruction was devastating. It sank to about 300 feet and only a handful of men survived. La Lune then sat on the bottom of the sea for almost five centuries until the Ocean One robot came along and scooped up a vase the size of a grapefruit. The humanoid diving robot was operated using virtual reality. Professor Usama Khatib used joysticks like a video game to control the robot while sitting safely in a boat on the surface. The professor says the robo-mermaid is set to completely transform underwater exploration. Humans can easily maneuver the robot, and it can go where people can't. There is no danger of decompression sickness, no difficulties with an air supply, and it can even see better than most people. The robot only managed to retrieve one artifact during the expedition, but that's just the beginning. In the next few years, we could have entire groups of these robots pillaging sunken ships, searching for lost treasure. Number 3. Ancient Florida Drones and lasers have revealed an ancient settlement off the coast of Florida. Archaeologists from the University of Florida used aerial drones with LiDAR sensors attached to them in their newest adventure. These drones and their lasers were able to complete detailed maps of the surface of Riley Island. The maps revealed an ancient settlement from at least 1,100 years ago. It's important to note that archaeologists already knew there was an ancient human presence on the island. In 1990, archaeological objects were found, and in 2010, additional exploration revealed the presence of a settlement from about 900 AD. But by using lasers and drones, the archaeologists have now revealed totally unknown architectural details. They had tried to do this with their own measly eyes, but they had always come up short. So they turned to technology to look through the thick forest and see what was hiding just under the soil. In total, archaeologists identified 37 residential areas enclosed by huge ridges of oyster shells stretching 12 feet tall in some places. This was a bustling settlement of early Native Americans living in what was almost a fortified island town. What's even more amazing is that researchers also found evidence of bead manufacturing. Coastal Native American chiefs had a thirst for marine mollusks that could be turned into beads. They often had them imported from up and down the coastline so they could be turned into jewelry. These guys were probably the first to be wearing puka shell necklaces. Remember those from the 90s? Number 2. Cleaning Tombs with Lasers The ancient tomb of Neferhotep was discovered in the 19th century on the west bank of Luxor. Sadly, this ancient Egyptian tomb has been subjected to extreme damage because of poor caretaking. It's been polluted by trash and scarred by layers of soot and dirt. Many parts of the tomb have become so dirty, it's difficult to tell what was originally painted on them. This is a huge problem because the tomb is really impressive. It's a great piece of history. Built during the reign of Pharaoh I around 1320 BC, Neferhotep was an Egyptian official who held the position of chief scribe of Amun. But in the 19th century, nobody really cared who he was. The tomb was used for burning mummies, which many Egyptians viewed as trash before the big explosion of archaeology in the 20th century. The whole tomb is now covered in mummy ashes, along with dirt from the cattle that were kept inside the tomb as well. However, archaeologists have come to the rescue using the newest advances in technology. Researchers undertook a project to clean the tomb of Neferhotep using lasers. Three German conservators used highly sensitive lasers to non-destructively clean the soot and dirt from ancient wall paintings and stone surfaces. 
The results speak for themselves. The conservators managed to remove the pollution and get the paintings back to their original vividness. This is great news for other ancient tombs across the world, whose artwork has been dirtied by centuries of neglect. Number 1. Roman Wine a new analysis of grape DNA has revealed some secrets about ancient Roman wine. It turns out the wine you buy from your local liquor store may be extremely similar to the wine Roman emperors were drinking 2,000 years ago. And while it's true that we've become more diverse when it comes to our selections of wine, there are still plenty of ancient wines that have been using the same vine for thousands of years. In order to learn more, Dr. Nathan Wales from the University of York used the newest DNA technology to look into the past. He and his team looked at grape seeds from nine ancient sites in France and then compared them to modern grapes. The results they found weren't at all what they were expecting. What the researchers learned was out of the 28 seeds they studied, 16 were closely related to modern grapes. One was a direct match for the extremely rare Sauvignon Blanc in France, something that's been produced for around 900 years. There were also two seeds that were genetically identical to ones discovered at a Roman site hundreds of miles away, dating back 2,000 years. Researchers say these genetic links show just how advanced the techniques of ancient winemakers were. The cheap wine you find at the store is likely very similar, genetically speaking, to the wine consumed by the Romans. Thanks for watching! What kinds of shocking discoveries do you think will be made with the help of advanced technology in the future? Let me know your thoughts in the comments! Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time! Bye!